Well Danny, welcome to Somerset Park. You've signed on this morning and uh, already training sessions. Yeah, good to get it done. I, I spoke to Ian McCall just before I went away with the 21s and um, he asked me about what my, uh, my situation was and I told him clearly like I wasn't going to sign before I went away. I was going to go to the Toulon tournament and try and see if I played and sh um, see if any other teams were interested just to keep my options open. I didn't want to just flying it straight away so I went there and didn't play as much time as I wanted, got a game at the end, came back and then I went on holiday straight away but he knew that anyway as my agent spoke to him but he still kept in touch all the time and he was he was very keen in getting me in straight away so I, that, that played a huge part in it like how um, how interested United were and I spoke to Lawrence, Lawrence gave me a wee text and then again asking me to <laughs> come and stuff like that but uh, no, I'm, ju I'm just happy it's done now, do you know what I mean? It was a tough season last season and uh, I was quite nervous leaving Aberdeen, do you know what I mean? It's a big club and it, it was me, my choice of leaving, so I was quite nervous on what was going to happen this year, but no, I'm just happy it's, uh, it's came here and I've, that's me to go to done dusty now. Right, so you made the decision to, to leave Aberdeen, so why at United? I mean, you've said, you know, we wanted you, but how do you see this as part of your development? I just, yeah, it was, it was my choice, I, I wasn't really playing last year, I was in and out, was, on the bench, left out, getting a few minutes and here and then, but I wasn't really developing as like, the season before I was at Dumbarton, played 35 whatever games it was, a full season. I felt good, I was confident, um, stuff like that, do you know what I mean? And then I went back up and maybe things didn't work out, that's just football, do you know what I mean? I just put my hands up, that's football, that's just the way it goes and there's always got to be a season of your career like that and it doesn't really work your way. So I just spoke to Mason about it and gave him my opinion and my thought and he agreed with me, he's, he's understood my uh, in the position I was in and he says I'll have a look about it, we'll speak to other teams and we'll see what you feel. But then obviously United, I spoke to him because as I said it started 21s and just what he says to me and, and it kind of stuck to me, it, it felt good speaking to him about it, do you know what I mean, it just that feeling you get, I just went, had an art, a few teams speak to me but they weren't really, you could play here, you could play, it's a 50-50 chance but I didn't want to put myself in a position where I left Aberdeen for, so I left Aberdeen to go and play a full season or two seasons, however long I play for, but I didn't want to leave and go back to a team where I was second choice and I'm on the bench and I'm just trying to push for that, waiting a breakthrough I had to, my first and foremost thing was to go out and play, that's all I thought about was just playing, regardless where, was it, I kept my, try and keep as, as high as I can, but that the first and foremost was to go out and play uh, my full season. No. Uh I've got to say you brought up two seasons ago and I have to go there, Dumbarton. I think a lot of us will remember you for one particular game and I asked you about this earlier on today because it stuck in my mind that it was you and it was you in a 4 all draw. Um, if I remember it was the game where uh, Ryan Stevenson came on at the end and scored in what was it, 89th, 91st uh, minute, something like that for a 4 all draw. Yeah. He had been one up or three, four, four, three up. Yeah. Penalty in the ninth, 81st minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it was your goal during that match because you have scored against us. The third one, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Decision. We had a big decision, uh, you know, discussion at that time. Uh, it came from the left, if I remember rightly. Vision about yeah. this, it sort of it came in and it went right in at the top right hand corner from not not a big angle. Was it, it was quite a distance. Yeah, it was quite far out. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, was it a shot? This is the big question all the United fans need to hear. I tell, I tell a lot of my, my friends and family that it was a shot because there was really nobody in the box. But I'd, as I feel back, I just got myself up the pitch and I think it came back, it came back to me from the winger. So I just cut inside and just thought I would just go and whip it in the box and see where it went. Do you know what I mean? As if maybe somebody gets a head on it or a flick on whatever went in and kind of glanced up last minute and it floated at the top corner, so I was like, fair enough, I'll take it, they all count, don't they? But no, it was a cross too, I thought it was a cross. <laughs> that answers a lot. Now, there's quite a few things that you've, you've, you've mentioned there, you keep talking about going away with the under-21s, now that you're talking about Scotland under-21s, but if I'm right, you've played at 17s, 19s and 21s, yeah, so you've got a lot sure. of the experience internationally. Yeah, yeah. Now, how has that helped your game? I think it helped. I've been there through the first set up at our age group, at the training camp, right through, and I've made a PG season all age groups there. But I think just playing against other countries and seeing how they play, and you get that wee, um, that wee bit of experience on how you get some countries, I mean, fall over the ball 
get fouls, tactical fouls, and how they bring players down, and how smart they are on the ball and off the ball. Even in heat, playing in hot weather or whatever, they know how to keep the ball moving. And I think you just pick up as the games go, and you pick up. Right, I know I can do this. I can take bits from that game and bring it in my next game. And you just pick up wee different things for each game. Each country you play against, it's all different. They're bigger. Some countries are bigger, stronger, faster. But you, I think you just you develop it. You know what I mean? You, you get the taste for it. Then you know what it's about. You know what you need to do. What you need to improve on, and it helps you a long way. It helps you with your club level as well. When you go back and you know. You get wee things for the games that brought uh, internationally and you can help it into your game and it, it, it works well. Now, uh, I suppose one of the things we should have said at the beginning, you're, you're a left back. Yeah. yeah. Now, the gaffer's told us at the beginning of the season what he wants from a left back. He must have a good engine, be able to get him down that part. Does that fit you? Is yeah, that I, would, you? I, I would say more attacking is my, more, um, my bigger threat than as defensively. I think that's why I went to Dumbarton as well, to help me. See the defensive side did as well when I did get myself up. I did get myself involved and um, got a few goals as well. But I think attacking and, and um, getting back up and down the pitch, I think that's my main my main strength. Getting up and down, and I'll, I'll I'll do that the full game. So, do you know many of the United players that you've now joined up with? I know Lawrence and Mikey Rose just through Aberdeen and that. Um, I just know a few of them. I was playing against that. Like I said when I played the Dumbarton and that, and just um, stuff like that. But. Um, no, it's, it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, well, welcome to Somerset Park. It's lovely to have you here. Cheers, thank you. Thanks very much. much.